You just take a scoop out of there. Oh, oh yeah, maybe I should separate my thoughts there. My... <laughs> I do not drink. It really coke. burns to a chocolate color, but it really burns the skin. It's like a cancer imitation. Yeah, that's like, there's no way that shit was healthy. No, it's not. It's not good to fucking tan, right? It's she not, like bathed no, in it, or she just good. poured it on herself. You should have saved the sea. No, no, no. She she would like pour it on herself and then like rub it. I think. Yeah. Should I stop drinking it? I mean, <laughs> drinking soda regularly probably isn't the best thing for you. It's a while. It's cool though. Mm-hmm. My Middle Eastern aunts, you would use beer or baby oil to tan because it causes. And it causes skin cancer easily, and yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's fucked. Okay, let's. There, this is the. And that's what I get back. We can't, from we can't fire off another episode. I feel like I, mm. you guys have been here for like eight hours. This has gone on way longer than I thought it was going to. <laughs> okay. Uh, we can we can keep doing this uh, at a later date, but I want to watch the Whiteness Project one episode of that. He just oh, carries I want to show you one more knowing thing. What's up? that. That people just don't, uh, just don't like it. You rabbit. see what you want to see. Yeah, it's really bad. And you don't see what you don't want to see. Okay, so here, I'll show you Bruno rapping, and then we'll watch the Whiteness Project one, one or two. All right. We're here. This <laughs> uh, is something that I, I made, actually, um, months and months ago. It's you called Midlife it Rap. Oh, yeah. Months before this project even came about, I bought a camera and a computer so that I can do my own video projects, and I ended up doing a rap video. After watching rap videos oh, man. for a What's long like, time and getting kind of frustrated, I thought, you know, the middle... What would, you, what would be like... You know how incels like hate women because yeah. they can't get laid, basically, yeah. and like women don't like them. What is that for, like a white dude against black people? I, I told you, it's, black people are cool. That's it. Yeah, but like, is there a word for it for that? Envy, I think. Envy. I feel like they should have like a word for it. It'd be quite cool. Anyways, carry on. I mean, it's racism. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's what it is. There's the word for it. No, that's not exactly what I'm talking about. I know what racism is, but there's. Uh, I'm speaking on a different note, but go ahead. Carry on, carry on. I mean, I don't know. I just, like, racial resentments. Well, you're about to find out. But remember, white people get very creative when it comes to being racist, Okay. Fetishization, that's yeah, another one. It's, kind of, sure. it's getting closer to what I mean, but yeah. yeah. Okay. So we could carry on. He means a word specifically for a guy who wishes he was black. Yeah, I mean, I think that's what it is. It's like, <laughs> but it's also like fucking racist as fuck. Good oh, for sure. <laughs> middle aged guy or the middle aged person should have an opportunity to speak. Listen, all I gotta say is this. Okay, Peggy. What's about to happen? Though? Look, look, listen. I've shown you a lot of good rap music today. You have. <laughs> <laughs> but what you're about to witness is just, it's going to top it off. This is, this is the peak? <laughs> this is going to be good. Okay, let's see. His or her mind as well. And it's sort of a, sort of a commentary on the today's rap scene. Uh -oh. Nick, you might in particular like this. I'm anxious to show it to the Sparks and see how they feel about it. Seems like the perfect opportunity. But ladies and gentlemen, this is called Midlife Rap. I'm a midlife rapper, and I rap from A to Z. I'm middle-aged and dapper with a vocabulary. Ooh. No, I don't wear giant golden chains, bag of pants half down my butt. Ooh, I don't disrespect the ladies. I don't call them hoes and sluts. Slut, 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 slut. I don't even know what's it. Really, really so he's much. doing the head move <laughs> like a black guy, and he's really <laughs> slamming rappers. Yeah, you know, just like... really ragging on them. I tell tales that are squeaky clean. I stay out of police station. 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 I mean, it was just really a It was, a it was just like ridiculous. I work hard to feed my children well. Lessons about life. 
You slapped your so-called bitches, if not stabbed them once or twice. You just hear the words, it can come out a little bit harsh and controversial. I don't blame anyone. I slapped my bitches, didn't stab them? Bro, he, he said it could be kind of controversial. <laughs> Some of the lyrics are kind of controversial. Kind of? This is whenever motherfuckers try to be like, oh, it's kind of edgy. I'm just being edgy. He's like, no, man. There's a word for that. You don't have to say edgy. You're just racist. Yeah, <laughs> like, you're no, you're not being like... edgy, okay? <laughs> it's so fucking bad. You just like, straight I up racist. I'm the man. I've done me wrong. I don't wave my hands all around. I don't bend yeah, straight up racist. Up and down. I don't mumble incoherently. I don't wear a big old nasty frown. 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 Yo! Oh shit! Look at his face, dude. He is enjoying. Bro, the look shit. at that. He's like, yeah, they're gonna love this one. <laughs> Hell yeah! Wow. Oh, he's so proud, dude. Why is he so proud? Oh my god. Whoa. Is it over? Sure, what do you think of that? The daughter didn't flinch through that shit. Cool. Like, hmm. yeah, what do you mean? Oh, this is episode it four. Straight, I mean. yeah. He said it was straight. I kind of ragged on the rapper. Does that offend you? No, I mean. I like think he... Bro, he's literally a... He is a 4chan poster. Like, he's just like, huh, I ragged on the rappers. <laughs> he's doing the troll face. He dude. said, he said I ragged on the rappers. Did you like that part? <laughs> <laughs> are you, are like, you triggered? Are you mad? Are you up, Are you upset? Is it racist yet? But like, but this is the fourth episode. Like I had to show this to you guys because by this point they're like, we know what you're about, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay? <laughs> we know what the fuck you're about, bro. I got you. So, so they just kind of like over him. They just like yeah. Oh. <laughs> he did that thinking we were gonna get angry and stir up something. It didn't even bother me. I just thought like, how ridiculous you are. I, mean, I look at it like. Just like when a comedian talks about yeah. what, I mean, I just look at it like that. I don't know if it was meant to get under my skin type things or not, but it didn't good. offend me at all. I, I didn't even care about it. That's his. It was it was too cringe for them to get mad at. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that shit is just stupid. Like, yeah. I couldn't imagine myself getting upset at that. <laughs> no, that's just the way you interpreted it. See, you're looking for the message inside. They they just realized that he's the troll with him. Yeah, I see. <laughs> I mean, I think you're, you're you're going and you're looking at, you're looking for a problem with my music here. When I'm not talking about your people at all. <laughs> oh wait, I think he literally creative says that. expression. Let him have it. Actually, I think both me and my mom were really skeptical. It feels a little bit like making a separation between two <laughs> different cultures that might not exist. What do you mean cultures? Like with a midlife man in white America versus the black. Rapper, which seemed to be the well, main. By the way, I never mentioned black. <laughs> oh <laughs> he did it, God! Yeah, yeah he, he did, did it. <laughs> yeah, you got that. You fucking got that. He's like, oh, uh, actually, I never mentioned black. Like, oh yeah, bro, you're you're so smart. Oh my. Nobody, God, nobody fucking man. noticed what you were trying to do there. <laughs> bro, this is the this is the loudest, like most. This is the loudest racist dude. Does not just be like outwardly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's screaming out <laughs> I of. I never said it actually. Never said, never said the word black. This guy, I'm oh, sure race. this guy hates when when people say the c word. Oh man, you if know, you call this bro. If you man, if you call him the c word, he'd probably flip. Out. Yeah, he would be like, "That's the real race or something." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bro, he really thought he did something. It's so fucking. It's so strange. Like you're 45 years old, oh, dude. You're 45 years old, and you like shot that with props. And you thought this was fire. He saved it for episode four. Too. He, <laughs> to it. he said the N-word like six times in episode one. Yeah. God knows what this motherfucker did in two and three. And then in episode four, he's just... Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just like, this, this is it. I have a little treat for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> After looking you straight in the eyes and calling you hard R. You know? yeah. wow. I hope that... I wonder where that guy is literally. He's like a Biden supporter. We found all of his shit. He's a Biden supporter? Yeah, oh, yeah, of course. But that's what it is. It's like liberals are fucking just as racist half the time. You know? Wow. Yeah, that's yeah. the long way of saying the N-word. Exactly. Yeah, basically. 
He could have just got on camera, said the N word, and cut that shit right there. <laughs> <laughs> Saved everybody the time. See, literally, bro. <laughs> it's like, bro, you put too much work into this. Did you say anything else to finish up this clip? Let's see what else. Personally, I don't like that rap. And I've told him before, it's really offensive to me. I, oh, I yeah. Swear. He didn't even record that for the show. He just did that yeah. for himself. For fun. Yeah, he, he said, said, he, said he did it a few months ago. Yeah. And it's like, yo, he did this before the show even happened. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> Just because I think, especially being in the center of something that is so racially conscious. But see, you can't, you know why? Because we're taught growing up that these kind of things That's his happen. That's artistic expression. He just, can do what he you can know, say. We don't take it yeah. personal. They're not even talking. Who's we? Yeah. Blacks. Episode I'm four, remember? Absolutely, totally impressed with your creativity and ingenuity. Um, I was offended by the rap song. What? There's a tone to it. Mm -hmm. That's what it that, is. Um, it's the same issue I've had with you throughout the project. I don't experience Bruno having compassion in Divorce some ways, incoming. or a depth of understanding, <laughs> or a willingness Ooh. to you feel in a deep it. way. He's got guy. kind of a meat and potatoes <laughs> basic. Do got on the show said the N word six stamp. times. There's a tone to that. A music video that and is <laughs> offensive to me. Ruined it his seems marriage. to. I don't do that, and it <laughs> negates the black experience. Right. And I don't do that. Well, no shit, you don't do that. Right. You didn't f grow up black. Right, and I think that the one thing is that. Not, I like that even when she's like defending black people, she's still like, well, black people do that. Because <laughs> they. They stabbed their wives because they grew up black, okay? <laughs> <laughs> like, when black people stab their wives, <laughs> like, that's not the problem, dude. Halfway, halfway up. Block things we don't understand. That's it. Point blank. Yeah. And if you don't, you irritate it rather than respect it and inquire into it. But hard again, to. I'm not. It's not. No, Bruno, no, you can say that. I don't accept that. Right. Okay? I don't think you're writing on behalf of midlifers. I think you wrote from your point of view. Period. And I think that you're couching it by saying you're appealing to an audience. You have these judgments that I think you have no right to have. I honestly can't tell at this point Base. what implications this is going to have for us. Damn. That's, that's you signaling divorce. Yeah. Damn. Uh, you, think, you think Ice Cube saw that and was like, we gotta have Bruno on the show. Oh yeah, no. It's like this shit's fire. They, they, they definitely sent Bruno to Ice Cube, and he's like, "Get him on." You gotta him. Get him on. Like, Bruno, Bruno, Bruno just did, dropped the like... hottest mixtape, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, is there a racism too, Bruno? This is really good. <laughs> oh, they need man. to bring this. They need to bring this show back or do the. Oh, yeah, <laughs> they really. I mean, I, they can't. You just can't do that. Yeah, you think that work in in this in this uh, in this. Uh, environment, I guess. Like, it's one, interesting 100%, to think about. they would be, you know, they, they, it's just, people would be so mad. But, like, sometimes you gotta let... Would it be full Dunzo, though? This is why, this is why I love, like, you know, like a Rachel Dolezal type character. You know what I mean? Like,